Free Tax USA. Is it really free? No. Is it really, really cheap? Yes. In this video, we are going to be talking about Free Tax USA, the ins and outs of this tax software, what you get for a really, really cheap price. Stick around. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor, investing in personal finance for millennials. Now for a decade, we have been reviewing tax software online for you to DIY your tax return. And this year is no exception. When you go to file your 2022 tax return in 2023, there are a lot of options. And so we've covered the premium, we've covered the cheap, and here we are with Free Tax USA. So is it really free? Well, your federal filing is always going to be free with this tax software. The gotcha is the state filing. Now the state filing does cost $14.99 per state. And then they're also going to offer an upgrade to the deluxe tier for $7.99. This is a dollar more than what it was last year. The deluxe tier is going to get, get you that audit support. Other than that, everything that is included in your or federal filing and your state filing for that $14.99, no matter what your tax situation looks like, it's going to be covered under those options. So what's new in 2023 with Free Tax USA? Well, like most of the other tax software, there were some tax law changes and some other deduction and credit changes marked for this past year due to the inflation and due to some tax law changes with the IRS. You're going to see that reflected in this software. I also mentioned that the deluxe tier is up a dollar from last year. It's $7.99 and that's going to get you priority standing with questions that you might have. And then also we noticed some improved navigation this past year inside. Now there are some abrupt transitions that you want to be aware of, especially if you're a first filer. If you're not familiar with filing your own taxes, you're going to maybe be tripped up by that, but they've made some improvements on their navigation. Another drawback to this though is that the interface is still a bit text heavy and the capabilities to import documents in the tax software is not there. However, you are really cutting costs with this tax software. Let's go ahead and do a walkthrough of the tax software and we'll show you how it works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sign in to 2022 for the free tax USA. Okay, what's cool about this tax software is if you've used it in the past and you continue to use it, it's going to transfer information over from your profile to the current year. So that's really great. They're going to include my personal in information, uh, income, and they'll check for any credits and deductions. Okay, it says here your personal information has rolled over from last year's tax return. If any info has changed, enter the new information, then click save and continue. So I'm just putting in some filler information here and looks good. We'll click save and continue. What's your filing status? Just go ahead and put single and we'll delete any dependents here. Yes, delete. Okay. No and continue. And here's where they're going to, of course, give you an ad to upgrade to the deluxe. So upgrade to deluxe for peace of mind. You get priority support with the live chat, audit, audit assist, unlimited amended returns. Okay, let's say I do. Got it. All right, now we're going to continue to the actual return. What I like about Free Tax USA that I did not see on some premium versions of tax software was that they give you the quick sections up here at the top. I didn't see this on Tax Slayer specifically because they used icons instead of the actual names of the sections. So this is really nice. So we're gonna go through the income section here and you can see exactly where we're at in the return. We're on wages, W-2. Also on the right hand corner, they're going to show you an estimated federal refund as you are putting in your information. So let's go ahead and click on our W-2. One thing about this is that you can't 
import your W-2 into Free Tax USA. It's a manual operation. So that can be a bit frustrating, especially if you're doing this late at night, you're tired, there's a lot of room for error. So make sure you're doing this on a full cup of caffeine and you're doing this at a time of day where you're alert <laughs> because you definitely do not wanna mess up those numbers and mess up your, your return. All right, so you're gonna enter your social security, your EIN, employer's name, everything that you see on a W-2, we're gonna go ahead and put here. So let's say we earned $102,000 and $10,000 with withheld. And then let's say you contributed to employer health coverage and a 401k. Okay, based off of what I put, I owe the federal government a lot of money. Keep in mind, this is just information I'm quickly entering into the system. This is not based off of a real scenario. We need a little more info about your company ZW2. Do you have any state disability insurance? Oh yes, let's go ahead and put that in. We'll say $780. Continue. Now, once you input your W-2, we'll look at the rest of these common income situations. So you could also have maybe a 1099 div form from a bank. And so any of these common income situations, you can go through the menu and see, okay, I don't have social security benefits, so I'm not even going to start that. I'm going to completely skip over that and go to the 1099 div. So let's go ahead and add that income form. We'll say this is from Ally Bank. Ordinary dividends of $340, qualified di dividends of 162 total capital gains distributions, and let's go save and continue. All right, that did affect the federal owed, so let's go ahead and click continue. And here we go. All right, if I wanted to fill out a 1099-INT, looks like I had one transferred over from the previous year from TD Ameritrade. So if I still had uh, an account with TD Ameritrade, this is really nice because it's just gonna add the payer name for me and then I can report any interest income. Let's say I had $782 in interest income from that. I'll click save and continue. And now my federal owed is a lot more because I gotta pay taxes on those uh, interest and dividends. Okay, so that's the income section. So far, so good. I feel pretty good about this. Business and rental income, what is this? Ooh, types of income that you can enter in the business and rental income section include any of these, Schedule C, so if you're self-employed, you might have a Schedule C that you might need to input, any rental income that you might have, all of that goes here. And what I liked about this is it was a section that I could pop open and then quickly see the menu items and then go through and start. And I like how it says not visited, so I know this is not a section that I've completed yet. So if I was to get confused about where I was at, it's gonna show you, oh, you haven't gone through this section, do you need to? If not, you can just scroll to the bottom and click continue. All right, cryptocurrency is going to be addressed in Free Tax USA. Did you sell, receive, sell, exchange, gift, or otherwise dispose of any cryptocurrency during 2022, such as Bitcoin, Doge, Dogecoin, Ethereum? <clears throat> you can report that right here. Let's just say yes and see what that looks like. Income from cryptocurrency. If you held cryptocurrency for investment, it should be treated as a capital gain or loss. You would only enter any cryptocurrency investment gain or loss if you sold, enter your crypto investment sale on your stocks and investments sold screen. Add investment sell, there you go. Okay, so that wasn't too hard to navigate. If you sold cryptocurrency, you could have that added right here as an investment sell. 
really nice. Okay, let's just click cancel to get out of this. All right, now let's go continue. We'll click no. Quick review of all of the different types of income that you might have, and then continue. Okay, this is interesting. Continue with a pro on your side. Make deluxe even better with the help of a pro for only $29.99. A pro can answer specific questions to help you file your taxes with confidence. Interesting, so on top of the deluxe that I already had said that I would want with the deluxe support, now it's offering this pro support for an additional, this is where they get you guys. So let's just go ahead and click continue, we'll skip that. Now onto deductions and credits. So the standard deduction is $12,950. And then any you can enter in any itemized deductions you have on the next screen. We'll compare them to your standard deduction and then give you the best possible deduction on your federal return. Very cool. So do you have any of these itemized deductions? What if I just wanna take my standard deduction? You don't have to enter any itemized deductions. Just skip the itemized deduction screen by clicking continue. There you go. So again, if you filed your taxes in the past and you've had a few years of doing this, I think Free Tax USA could give you a really good bargain because you can just skip all this information. If you were a new filer and didn't know that you don't have to fill out all of these different forms, then this could get a little tedious, especially because you have to manually enter so much information and then you might get tripped up. So let's go ahead and just click continue to take the standard deduction. So we'll take the standard deduction, save and continue. We did not have marketplace health insurance. Let's say we did contribute to a um, Roth IRA. Let's say we contributed $6,000 to that. We did not do any withdrawals, did not attend college, no student loans. Okay, earned income credit summary. We checked, but unfortunately you don't qualify for the earned income credit because your adjusted gross income is over the limit for the credit. Cool. Okay, save and continue. Oh, did you make your home more energy efficient? Nope. Did you pay for childcare? No. All right, common deductions and credits. Click on any deduction or credit that may apply to you. Looks like we went through all of this, but now it's just giving you the summary page. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And then we're going into other deductions and credits. Health savings account contributions. That is an area that a lot of people might have a form to fill out for. Home, vehicles and fuel. I like how this is laid out. This is really nice. Um, even though it is a lot of text here, at least there's some subsections to help break down the content and break down the forms. All right, now we're at the summary page. I mean, to me, this seems really straightforward. It's, it's not a very user, I, mean, I guess it is user friendly. I just think that it's laid out, you know, pretty easy. I can quickly go move between deductions and the credits, any of these that I'm like, oh, maybe I do have a form for that, I can quickly go back and take a look at that section. So, so far it's laid out pretty nicely. I will say the user experience with TurboTax and H&R Block is just amazing. They really spent some time figuring out what people like, the aesthetics of it, it just makes filing that much more of a breeze, but if you already know what you're doing a little bit, you're not a whiz, but you've done this a time or two, I think Free Tax USA could really help out a lot of people. All right, again, they're gonna show me this ad for the pro. 
let's continue to miscellaneous forms and topics. So we've got 2022 estimated tax payments, that 1040 ES, uh, that might pertain to you, especially if you pay quarterly taxes. Okay. Personal, foreign income, other taxes. Let's go ahead and click continue. Do you want to go through the refund maximizer? Why not? Do you have a child who has a job? Do you provide more than half the financial support for a relative? Wow. Ooh, what if I said yes to this? Can I claim my fiance as a dependent? Interesting. I like how Free Tax USA is bringing this to my attention. The, okay, in order to do this, the following criteria must be met. The other person must have lived with you all year as a member of your household. The other person's gross income must be less than 4,400. You must have provided over half the other person's support during 2022. If your fiance meets the above rules, you can claim him or her as a dependent on their tax return. And I'm curious what that would, how that would affect that person's tax return. This was super helpful. Check for documents. Let's make sure everything is correct. Okay, so after I've input everything into this, uh, they're gonna show me the total amount owed, which was $5,000. Now, it says here IRS e-file begins mid to late January. So if you wanted to get a jump start on your tax return, you could go ahead, input the information that you have, and then when it opens up for accepting returns, you just click submit, pay for free tax USA, and be done with it. Then you can move on into your, when can I file my state return? That usually happens uh, by end of January. So then all of this information can get copied over to the state portion of your return. You can add any state specific credits and deductions or any state specific taxes, and then go ahead and file within Free Tax USA. And that is a look inside the software. Okay, so Free Tax USA wasn't without some drawbacks. You could not import your 1099 or W-2 forms, which if you wanna pay extra for that, you're gonna go with premium tax software that has those integration and import features for you. But if you're really focused on just saving a dime instead of saving time, then Free Tax USA might be your better option. I mean, free federal returns, $14.99 for state returns, and then you're gonna see the upgrade for the deluxe $7.99, and then they also wanted to get you with that pro expert support of $29.99. I don't think that's necessary, especially if you've already done this a time or two. I would say for uh, beginners who are just trying to navigate Free Tax USA, go back and watch the, that walkthrough again. I think that's going to help you just figure out, okay, you don't necessarily need to go through every single form that is mentioned within the, the sections. You can just enter in the tax forms that you actually have. I would start there, start with the actual tax forms that you have, input that information, and that's going to help you get through Free Tax USA a lot faster. So if you're still wanting some hand-holding and guidance, like a Q&A guidance through your tax software, you might want to consider Tax Slayer Classic or Tax Act and can kind of compare what that looks like compared to Free Tax USA. By the way, we have complete reviews of those tax software available at thecollegeinvestor.com and more. If you want to check out more tax software reviews to make the best choice for you and your situation, be sure to check out all of those tax software at thecollegeinvestor.com. Be sure to give this a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video.